Hello viewers, I'm showing you the die back in mango. If you see here, the twigs are drying and, uh, and the other twigs are also showing some fungal incidence. Die back is a fungi which normally affects the mango uh, cultivars. So normally we see this uh, die back in rainy months when there is excessive rain and uh, due to high humidity and then high moisture content. Uh, the dieback in mango uh, is very problematic in some of the uh, areas like high rainfall areas and high humidity areas. Once dieback comes, it is very difficult to control. Some of the grow, uh, some of the orchard growers have lost their orchards completely this year. And due to high rainfall this year, uh, dieback is commonly seen in mango uh, varieties. And uh, some of the varieties are highly susceptible. If you see this. Uh, this particular variety is uh, Totapari. Uh, this variety is also uh, a bit susceptible. So you see the whole orchard, we see a, a lot of uh, uh, dieback uh, in uh, mango uh, Totapari variety. Whereas if you see in the other varieties like uh, Mallika, uh, Himam Pashantham, these are the varieties. So these varieties, though they are, cult uh, are together, uh, not seen much of a dieback problem. So hence, once we see the symptom of dieback, it is very essential uh, to prune the infected twigs. You see here, we need to prune the infected, affected portions and we need to prune the affected portion, portions and then uh, take a control measure of any of the fungicides like propiconazole, then zol group uh, and the strobilin group that gives effective control uh, for dieback in mango. Thank you.